Hey everybody, this is Jeff aka Slinger. Some of you might know me from YouTube, some of you may not. I'm going to do a product review today for the Behringer Xenix 1002B. Alright, this is the box that's going to come in. This is a 10 channel mixer. Um, I use it, uh, I probably only use like three channels on this right now. I'm hoping to use four for other sound effects. Um, it does not come with sound effects. It is a straight up 10 channel mixer. Number three and four, number five and six, and number seven and eight, and number nine and 10 are shared channels. Um, you have one, two, three, four, five, miking puts and I will switch cam views right now for you. Alright, this is the actual Behringer mixer hooked up to my computer and there's an mp3 player that I taped on the wall. Wow, my lighting is getting all weird. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to explain how I hook it up, the basics of it. Uh, Basically, I've got these RCA to 1.8 uh, MP3 this is connectors going in, sorry. The speaker line right here goes to the input because you want that to come into your mixer. This output, which is your two-track output, I put that to the microphone jack or the line-in jack on the computer. It's a 1.8 connector. Um, you can get those cables at Radio Shack. And this, of course, is to my skull candies that I'm wearing right now. I love stall candies. And this is a, a mono line in for the mixer. One eighth to one quarter connector. So you want to get one of those. Here I'll try to get a close up here. These connectors are important. This is my mic input right here. I've got phantom power on. And you can see the mic's at zero, which uh, seems to work pretty good. Yeah, that's the basics of how you hook up a uh, 1002B Behringer mixer. And can back to me. Also, this does uh, work in a wall plug with a power supply, or you can use it with two 9-volt batteries. An interesting fact that a lot of people don't realize. You can get this at Amazon.com, Guitar Center, Guitar Works, stuff like that, even eBay. Uh, the running price is about $109. I'd rather buy it in the store, though. With uh, the Guitar Center that I went to, they have a 20-day policy of returning, no questions asked. So, you know, if you buy it on eBay, it's going to take you some time if something does go wrong to return it. And the important part is to keep your system up and running. Uh, it is a good price, though. I would give it that, and it does sound decent. All right, everybody. This is Jeff, a.k.a. Slinger, and I'll check you out on my next product review.